up everybody welcome back to another exciting episode you're in store for a great one today i'm out here with josh from oklahoma fowl company i've mentioned him a few times in my past videos they make the most badass uh blind accessories for layouts a-frames shell holders magnet holders for your guns like everything to stay organized while you're in the blind and safe with your guns they make crazy amount of uh, trailer accessories to hold up anything you can think of all your tools um, flags shears electric shears like all that stuff I'll link their website down below their Instagram and all that they're a great group of guys and if you've been following along for a long time back two years ago I won a massive giveaway from them uh, they gave me an A-frame a bunch of their accessories and uh, a couple buddy heaters and stuff but also out here with and then uh, a couple other guys Lazar you've seen me hang out with him hunt with him with Dustin that is Josh's brother-in-law I believe we just <laughs> the biggest spread I've ever set um, got out here at 5 a.m. Um, it's 6 34 we got about 20 minutes of shooting line and uh, yeah, we're all parking the trucks right now, and then we're going to get shuttled back in. And, uh, get laid down in some layouts. We're sitting on dive bomb kickbacks. We got rotaries, we got silos, we got... Or not silos, but rotaries e-collar um also like flat socks is what they're called i guess um yeah just everything so stay tuned uh, we're gonna get shuttled back in and yeah thank you guys for tuning in today He's getting up, they want to know where the fight Oh my god, if they do, just belly lake city. Oh, <laughs> Wow. There's a bird or two behind us. Oh my god, he was doing it. He was getting up.
guys hopefully you enjoyed uh, the shorter video um, I don't know really what to say um, we had to dip out pretty quickly it just started raining all of a sudden it wasn't in the forecast and with the big trailer and truck had to get the decoys out fast in case it were to continue raining don't want to tear up the field but I mean we set out probably a thousand full bodies another like 500 socks or so um, I think they ended up with 10 or so yeah, they just kind of quit flying and the bigger groups just didn't want to commit at all and but it was fun uh watching them shoot some singles and doubles um it was a great great group of guys to go out and hunt with um i'll probably be back out with them this weekend but nothing absolutely crazy but i mean birds are still around and the weather's warm and there's still a lot to come but it was fun um that's my first time ever setting out a massive spread like that. Um, 
personally. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely new to the snow goose hunting. And uh, yeah, they are very hard to predict. They don't, that, that place was loaded last night with probably 20,000 birds in that field. And I don't know, maybe they just, I mean, we didn't see any corn in it, so maybe they just picked it clean and knew that they hit it, didn't want to come back at all, but, yep, I mean, you guys that hunt snow geese know that they can be a big pain in the butts, but it was cool to see uh, some, a lot of specks working, and uh, a lot of ducks, too, that morning roar, it was pretty cool. They got off the roost and came straight over us and circled us for a little bit, so that was cool to watch. But yeah, I called it early today. Had to get out of there. Of course, now it's sunny and uh, blue skies, but just what can you do, you know? But thank you guys for watching. Probably one or two more snow goose videos coming. We'll uh, we'll see. I'm just gonna keep grinding her out until uh, it's over with.